Where are they now? From 1987 to 1994, there was an Aussie suburban family who were having a long, chaotic rough patch. Crazy neighbours, problem kids, and a frazzled single dad struggling to keep it all together. Well, we felt like they lived just down the street, but the Kelly family was on TV in Australia's longest-running sitcom, Hey Dad. The dad in Hey Dad was Martin Kelly, a widowed architect with a difficult new project to rebuild. His family. The kids were a bit of a handful. Hang on out here. Why would I want to hide your Barbie? Because you're jealous of her. Jealous? Plus, there was cousin Betty from the bush, the world's worst secretary. Shortcut is another vital secretarial skill. I thought it was something you got from the butchers. And if that wasn't enough, the neighbours became family too. Nudge came close to eating Mr Kelly out of house and home. Oh <laughs> and cute Arthur could get away with just about anything because... My little kid! <laughs> hey Dad ran for seven years. A record 291 episodes. And we still couldn't work out what Betty was going on about. Than happy with my position as executive secretary in this architectural service. <laughs> well, please welcome the Kelly kids, Sarah Monaghan, <laughs> Simone Buchanan, <laughs> and Rachel Beth. <laughs> and of course, the next door neighbours, Chris Truswell. Better known as Nuts. Matthew Croft, who played Arthur MacArthur. And all the way from Walgus, Betty Wilson, otherwise known as Julie McGregor. Hi. Well, it is great to have you here. Uh, Julie, let's kick off with you. Okay. <laughs> Betty was such a laugh a minute. Now, how much of it was really you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it was kind of a hybrid uh, of uh, friends and um, my mother and me and, and every Irish crazy person <laughs> think of. And, of course, it was all written, wasn't it? So, oh, did you um, have any input into that? Well, look, we threw bits in, but pretty much it was fairly strict, uh, you know, and you had to hit your marks on the day, of course. So Who came up with such a Terry? <laughs> Well, I did actually, but it was based on architect, and 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 when they said architect, I said, "Oh, nobody says architect." I said, <laughs> and I think uh, a week later or something, before the show had gone to air, um, this guy arrived with a parcel for for the architects downstairs at the place that that we rehearsed in, and and he said, uh, "Do you know where some of the architects are?" And I went. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I thought, no, it hasn't gone to air yet. <laughs> People really say that, yeah. Yeah. Now, you know? Yeah. Now, Chris, you were almost completing, what was it, a printing apprenticeship before you became, I, became Nudge? Uh, yeah, I did, um, when I, I did a four-year apprenticeship with a company called John Sands and... Um, uh, in my That's second year, greeting card people. Yeah, yeah, oh. games, magazines. I was doing uh, pre-press work, and uh, I started doing a bit of film work and a bit of work for the ABC, and going off and taking time off from the job, which was lovely of John Sands to give me all that time off. And then Hey Dad came along in the end of my fourth year, the pilot, and then I had to leave to do the twelve eps, and just took a chance on it. Yeah. So no regrets. Oh, I really missed the printing. <laughs> no. And you got to have so much fun because Nudge was quite a bit of a larrikin. We've got a little snippet. Let's have a look. Blue eyes. Nudge Narita's here. Quick, head on here from toss of the head. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart. Listen, sweetheart, there's a great band this weekend on the Swallows. Have it, I'll make your night. <laughs> Nudge, quick, back, flip onto the couch for a big finish. <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Sorry. How'd it go? Did it go all right? It was a mother. <laughs> Sarah, 
are living in Texas now. You got your role when you were just six, mm -hmm. but I, I understand they're actually after even a younger character. They were looking for someone who was four, and um, I oh, had no. drowned when I was a baby and ended up with a growth deformity. So um, I was really, really tiny because I didn't grow till I was like five years old. And so when I came in and I was six and they thought I was four and I read the script and then they thought that mum had taught me and so then they had a second page and I read it and Gary's like, how come you can read? And I went, ah, six, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I got it. And Matthew, everybody loved your character as well but, and you became virtually an overnight sensation. How did you cope with that? Um, I don't know, I guess it, yeah, it did kind of happen all at once. Um, uh, it was, it was alright at first because people would see you at school and they'd be like, hey, I saw you on TV last night and, uh, uh it's kind of hard to, to know who really wants to know what, you. you were eight when you started. Yeah, sure. It's really yeah. young, isn't it, to grow up on it? Yeah, not as young as six. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> then you got the last laugh because you actually went on to date a very young Delta Goodrum on the show. Ooh. Let's have a, have a look. Oh. Remember this. Hello, Arthur. Hmm. Arthur, say hello properly. Hello, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Not to me, to Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Arthur and I are going to a garden party together, aren't we, Arthur? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, will you all excuse us while Arthur and I have a few words together? <laughs> Arthur, what the devil is the matter with you? She's after me, Sam. Anyone can see that. She is a gorgeous girl and she's so pretty. Yeah, but gorgeous is only skin deep and then it gets ugly. <laughs> Well, she didn't get ugly. Yeah, she didn't get ugly. Your first on-screen girlfriend, were you a bit nervous? Um, I don't know, I guess at the time I, you know, like you could see, I wasn't really into girls. Um, <laughs> you know, not gay That wasn't anything, just but... acting. No. <laughs> now, ladies, we've got to took outfits. Some on some of the clothes. Oh, <laughs> I know, it's haunting me. Oh, well, I, I won't laugh because probably I've got photos that are haunting me now, but there were some pretty daggy outfits. It was the 80s, yeah. And the hair. The hair and the, and the pads and, yeah, yeah. And the patches. Oh. Now, that's a... a um, but that's the tent. Yeah. yeah. Probably not the most flattering number. Oh, and there's the poem. <laughs> but it's all back now. It doesn't matter. Oh. Well, this is true. Good exactly point. Right. The other thing, Rachel, that, that added to the pressure is that yeah. it was always filmed in front of a live audience, was that? What was that uh, like? Well, you see, I, I suppose I didn't see it as pressure because I felt right at home in front of a live audience. Um, and I think it probably added, I thought it probably added a bit of a spark because you knew if you had your mojo that day because if you delivered your line and that audience laughed, you'd go, I'm on it. I'm on it, no. <laughs> they loved it when you messed up too. So yeah. you didn't feel as bad yeah. when you did. Yeah. The Kelly family, though, was a, a typical good Aussie family. A little yes. dysfunctional. Do you think that was why it was so successful? Yes, I think it borrowed on... Well, the, the soaps had been well established and uh, it, it had a bit more of an upmarket thing. This was the first one that had oh, leather couches and stained glass windows and he was an architect working from home and the kids were all beautiful and, you know... And, it, Cosby, it's a, and Cosby and family ties was really popular yeah. at that time and so we didn't have Australia didn't have its own sunshine. sort of family yeah. show and I think mm. that's where it and you had the resident crazies and then you had everybody in the show had great comic dialogue a lot of the best comedy in fact I think came from just the family life of you know cups growing mold under the beds and where are the fresh towels you know yeah. and Martin with steam coming out of his ears and you know. because because you could see a little bit of every Australian household in it, yeah. you? it was so relatable a wonderful show 291 episodes just yes. staggering it's great to see you all back together again thanks for joining thanks, us thank, thank you, you. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen please thank the cast of Hey Dad